And uh, this is kind of an interesting story, too. Todd is on the phone. Todd Wall. Uh, he he claims that we saved his life on 9-11, and uh, this is how it happened. Todd, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, Howard? All right, let me get to your story, because uh, it's an interesting one. You uh, were doing temp work at the World Trade Center that That's day. That's correct, on the 96th floor of the North Tower. Oh, forget about it. Yeah, I mean, the 96th floor of the North Tower, that means you would have been... Above the crash. Yep. I would have been gone. What time were you supposed to be at work that morning? Well, normally I get there at 9 a.m., um, but September, on uh, the 10th, the day before, I had left early, and I told everyone that I was going to make up the hours, and I was going to work from 8.30 to 6.30. Right, so you would have been in the building. Definitely. All right, what prevented you from going in the building? Honestly, like every single morning before I go to work, when I'm getting ready to go, when I'm getting... Uh, ready to go to work or um, when I'm in the, I have a shower rate, I'm always listening to your radio show. And usually, and it's not really the model employee thing to do, but I usually just cling to your show until the last possible moment where I have to turn off the radio and get to work and make sure I get to work on time. And uh, that morning, I think I was dressed and ready to go at like 20 after 7. And... Um, you were already in a commercial break, and I figured, all right, I got some time to kill. I might as well just sit here, wait for you to come back from commercial break. I think you were going to have some woman on the air that claimed she was some professional matchmaker or something. Right. And um, and I was waiting, I was waiting, and finally you came back from commercial break, and instead some guy who was hiccuping for a year was on, and I'm like, come on, come on, let's get to this woman. I was just interested in hearing about that. And um, that was a woman that was going to set me up with my perfect uh, mate. Yeah, exactly. Like someone was going to be better than Beth, you know. Yeah. Um, so I looked at the time and I realized, oh, my God, it's like 10 to 8. And I had to shut off the radio and I ran to the subway. Um, I got to the subway. And as soon as I got to the subway station, I had just missed that first train. And so it felt like I was waiting for about five or ten minutes until the next train came. And as soon as the next train came... I took it down to um, Fulton and Church Street, and I got off on the Day Street uh, side by Century 21 and Church Street right in front of the plaza, and that is exactly when the first plane had hit. Wow. 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 <laughs> so you're sort of listening to the show and waiting for that bit cost you uh, the train, getting on the train on time. Exactly, and I definitely would have been up there. And wow. when I emerged from the subway, and when I, well, I, I, think I definitely heard it when I was coming up the stairs. And I heard people screaming when I stepped onto the street. I could not believe what I saw in front of me. I, I, it's like your eye, your brain cannot comprehend what your eyes are seeing. So here a year later, you must be like, you second guess every move of your life. Like, oh, maybe I shouldn't get on a plane. Maybe I shouldn't. You know, it was the first three months after that was like that. I think now it's just like, you know, there's just nothing anyone can do. I think you just got to go. You just got to just live your life. And when, you, when it's your time, it's just your time. I mean, so, you know, the opposite could have happened. What if... Would have, you know, the planes have been delayed so that, you know. I, yeah, you never know. Or the plane hit the street and well, the building. You, you know, been in the building and say You never know. It's give and take. Think of all the productive things this show has stopped you from doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you know, which, which has been a lot, actually. Yeah. You, you probably wouldn't be doing temp work if it wasn't for this yeah, show. You might own a company. He says to himself, you know, forget that model employee thing. Oh, I know. No. <laughs> I swear, it, it has. It obviously it has such it had such a major impact because I'm looking up and I'm seeing those are my offices. That, I mean, mm. these, those are the upper floors. Wow, are you lucky, man? And you have us to thank. Remember me and your will. Hey, uh, Todd Wall. Uh, thanks. What for, kind of will is he got? Uh, you never know. He might. He might. <laughs> he might win the lottery. That's right. Hey, do you remember we actually met like a year, actually a year before? Yeah, you were in a, a show that I saw. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah. right. Todd uh, did a little, uh, like a little show, and I brought my daughter to oh, it. Oh, is that right? Uh, yeah, I went there so to see. So you're an actor, a struggling actor. A struggling actor. I went to see my uh, friend Shannon in it, and he happened to be in it. Uh -huh. All right, Todd, we got to right. along. Thanks for Thanks, sharing Howard. that with us. Um, Thank you again. My family thanks you, too. <laughs> you bet. Okay, that's Todd Wall, everyone.